The majority of the Black Clover class at this point has finally been more realized than all of them had their backstory in the release scene. With the exception of a few characters mainly being Grey and that other motherfucker that's always just left in the side. And he's probably that that guy's probably gonna be as relevant as like one of the characters from like Naruto and all that. Like probably the the, the bug guy at the end of the when Finally, if we're getting a little bit more understanding about why Finral's the way he is, and like a lot more of the element, like of what his power basically is, and a little bit more understanding of the elemental magics. Like I'm starting to understand as well that maybe there's a few more rules that maybe tomorrow's like, okay, let's introduce this now to the rules of like magic, and I'm curious to see whether or not this is gonna work in other sorts of magic or is this is just mainly for Thimroll's case and his brother because of how exactly that both of them manipulate space magic and in a sort of way and all that we're going to see how this goes because there's a few things in all that this chapter was like making me go wait what like especially in this fight because there was some weird shit when we found out about the magic and it's like oh so that just took out like immediately two characters immediately for the most part and it sounds like it's almost up to the rest of them like of Leo and the gang to take care of everyone else so immediately one of the first few things that we saw in this chapter was we got to see a little bit more of Thimra and his brother's past it was like oh here's like your fiance like a life of your brother and all that like you know she's like got a chronic illness and all that and she's not really able to venture outdoors and she comes from the, the you know lineage that has strong magic ability so pr it's pretty much like how all like lineages and all that from royalty is it's like you know oh this co she comes from like you know a fair noble like she's like a baron's daughter but like you know the lineage leads all the way up to here it's like oh this is you know the gene pool will make you know greater for our generations to come you know all that shit and all that that you get from like royal families and all that and the fact is like the brother just doesn't give a shit and immediately like this was this lady was supposed to be originally in all that for thin role but since also he became like kind of like, the bastard son and that he was like he's not good with magic at all he's a fairly can't do any attack magic so and then the two started getting like so, you know talking around and everything and it was like you know they like, actually started to get like you know a little bit better and saying you know like oh miss uh, uh Denise and all that you know you're so pretty and all that you know you know for your poor health and all that and it's like and she originally did think it was thin roll that she was going to be like married to and it was like no no it's Langris and all that and he's like so much better than me and you'll make him very happy and all that and his magic is incredible I'm just you know I'm defective and the fact like one shouldn't be saying this out loud because Langris Langris immediately got pissed at this. It's like, we've only met a few times, but I know you're such a kind person, and in, in even more and all that, I feel like your path is more powerful than your brother's. And she's like, I can already imagine this bitch as being dead already, because he hears this and is like, no, don't say that. And it immediately it's like, she's clearly really ill. She's either like in bed because of what like her brother does, or that she's just full out dead and all that, because he probably attacked her or like left her out and all that, abandoned her, and that's what happened. And this is what caused what, like, Probably the, one of the biggest rifts between why Thinroll left the house in the first place, why he abandoned the household and went to the Black Bulls, like, is something that, like, trickled down because Langris is a jealous piece of shit because he has to be, like, throughout the entirety of, like, where every we see in his family, it's like, he has to be the superior one. He has to be the one that excels. He's the future of the family and their brother is a fucking failure. It doesn't help when, like, we literally see this chapter and it's the mother shitting on Fenrol. It's like, oh, yes, my other son, but you know I only love my, you know, Langris because he's amazing and everything. And it's like, you know, and it's like every time they'll use the excuse and all that, you, you know, you're shit and all that, and, you, know, you know, like, you're not good at studying and everything. You're not, like, nothing compared to, like, this other son. It's like, God fucking damn it, I feel bad for Finral at this point because his pet, he was never loved. Like, just any time. When it, when it came to his magic and all that, it was just like, this is defective, get him out of here. But we're seeing with the rules of the magic now that apparently, whether or not this is, like, applying to other magic beforehand, but if you apply space, like, with the space magic because how their ones are intertwined with another, the fact is that they can cancel each other out. Meanly, while they, they was able to stop the magic that was going to be attacking Thinroll and his team, Thinroll actually managed to use his own transport magic of the space and all that as a spatial magic use and all that. Like they'll actually be able to cancel each other out, and this is how they were able to go around with this and all that. And it's like you know, oh, this is how we're going to be able to deal with this situation because like he won't be able to just instantly cut off the crystal and we'll be able to like use it either. And Thinroll learning as well with his spatial magic, even though it's still not a defensive like a defensive kind of magic, he's able to use it to actually teleport people. 
to a different uh, like uh, de destination with a homing attack where he's like I'm gonna be able to send someone out so if you've got like what they used immediately with one of like Langris' fighters and all that it's like I'm gonna send one person out of here which to be fair he got sent out to like Yami on the toilet <laughs> just having a shit reading the newspapers like it's alright I'm gonna kill you right now because you really fucking pissed me off and it's like yeah, hold your balls right there because, you know, I think that, like, Yami is going to, like, completely destroy you in that situation. <laughs> like, you don't get into that. And the fact of where, like, how, like, what we saw and all that, like, with Fenrir was like, I don't want to hurt my brother and all that because of this. And it's like, no, like, you know, it's my precious brother. I'm going to teleport you away with this magic. And it's like, that was a mistake, really, to realize that. And especially, you like, when we saw Langris's partner and all that, like, the Ice Maiden, like, Chick Rock, we got to see and all that. Leo and also the other youth and all that, the gay's name and all that, were trying to deal, like, with her. And she immediately used, like, the snow magic to numb their senses. And Leo, since he's been, like, learning, you know, obviously from the, like, the boot camp, from what they had with the mana skin, he was able to kind of deflect this and able to damage her slightly. But they're already at a disadvantage. Like, we got to see that Vinral's brother, like, Langris and all that, like, they already taken one fire out of this fight already. So, it's only a matter of time, like, of being able to know that we saw Langris pulling out this magic and all that. Yeah, he's, like, making him use his grimoire. And we're seeing, like, all these little spatial balls coming out there and him, obviously, losing his mind and all that like he's now about to try and show him who's boss like one thing i've noticed as well is like you've got a 2d3 right now and already leo has already managed to stop like the ice maiden's abilities straight away like so it honestly is leading up to like like what we got seeing all that with finroll finroll just has to buy time so like leo can actually finish off this fight and it doesn't seem like that he's gonna actually be able to do that for a while the only problem is like what we got to see now with langris's magic like at least what we've seen from it so far he's able to conjure up a bunch of these like just massive ominous like spatial balls everywhere whether or not they have the same sort of ability as like Thinneral's ability whether or not they got homing or just the amassed amount of just range he's able to pull out with that we're actually gonna have to say uh, see and all that because what's happening and all that is like we've got a problem even the fact that like we saw Julius looking at this is like there's something iffy with this magic and all that there's something ominous coming from this and it's not a good thing so whether or not there's something very specially different about like this kind of special magic or whether or not like this is being fueled by his anger we're gonna have to wait and see Overall, and all that like this chapter and all that it's okay chapter and all that so far and all that it's getting a little bit more clarity for like Finral's backstory getting a lot more than a lot of us probably was expecting from that and even as well as like that, it's like Fenrir has just got to buy time and all that. Like until Leo and his other partner can finish this off. But overall, his new magic, his homing one, it's an interesting one. And I know the whole thing is like oh, I'm never gonna learn any like the you know offensive magic. But I feel like he can actually use some of this and all that to his advantage. Like whether or not like he could use this other what magic to get away the crystal. Like he could like use it as well. He could home it as well to his other targets and all that and I'm wondering whether or not and all that like if he can do that whilst trying to stop his brother from destroying the crystal there's still a few rules and I'm wondering as well for the whole cancellation thing is that only going to be working just because of like how similar their powers are like due to the fact that they take their own spatial realm or will we see this with other magics as well in the future like when we see two war like power light levels and all that they're going to fight and that's going to happen. But overall and all that, it wasn't like this goddamn amazing chapter. But still as well, I do think it was a pretty fine chapter. Like 6 out of 10, I thought it was a fine chapter. But let me know you guys think in the comment section down below what you thought about this chapter. But that's all for me. Thank you as always for watching. And I'll see you guys though next time.